let us discuss this example so we have a function g of x which is defined in this way with the help of integration we have to find its derivative obviously we are going to use first fundamental theorem of calculus to solve this problem so let us write the given function first we have g of x is equal to integration 2 to sin x cube root of t dt so first of all we will focus on a function what is a function function is cube root of t so we are taking an integration of that function and we call it as f of t so let me write that f of t here so here f of t is equal to cube root of t so again it is a continuous function so that's why first fundamental theorem of calculus is applicable here so clearly i will mention clearly f is continuous function since graph of this function is continuous okay so that's for therefore by first first fundamental theorem fundamental theorem of calculus of calculus see this theorem says we can directly take its derivative so therefore we will have g dash of x so we can take its derivative derivative of integration 2 to sin x okay cube root of t dt but see problem is that the upper limit of the integration is sin x if we have simply x then we can directly use the first fundamental theorem but we have a sin x so that's why i'm putting something sin x is equal to u here so this is equal to derivative of integration 2 to u cube root of t dt let me mention that thing u putting sin x is equal to u sin x is equal to u this substitution i have done here but again we have a problem since now the variable is u and we are taking derivative with respect to x actually u is a function of x so we can take we can use chain rule here so by chain rule what can we write derivative with respect to u integration 2 to u cube root of t dt into du by dx so this is simply a chain rule you can cancel du du and again we will have d by dx okay so now we can apply first fundamental theorem of calculus here since the upper limit is u and we are differentiating with respect to u so the first fundamental theorem of calculus says we can simply replace t by u so this is cube root of u into du by dx right but what is value of u value of u is sin x so this is cube root of sin x into derivative of u means sin x what is derivative of sin x it is cos x so therefore answer will be it is equal to cos x into cube root of sin x okay so this is a required answer Uh, make a screenshot of it then we will discuss one more example let us discuss this second example so what we have g of x is equal to this integration so that g of x i have already copied here right so here what is a function so we are taking integration of sec t so our f of t is sec t so here let me write f of t is sec t so it is continuous okay on a domain so that domain we should uh, we should have here so here f is continuous function okay on that particular domain only so by first fundamental theorem of calculus by first fundamental theorem of calculus i i use short form see the problem is that the lower limit of integration should be constant and what we have we have a lower limit variable and upper limit one so that's why i will interchange them do you know how to interchange it's very simple just you need to write minus sign outside and you can change the limits okay sec t dt so we have brought the given integral in a standard form so let us apply first fundamental theorem of calculus so what will we have so therefore g dash of x is simply derivative of the integration derivative of minus integration 1 to x raised to 4 sec t dt so again we are facing a problem since the upper limit is one function of x and we want only simple variable okay 
So what will I do? I am going to put x raised to 4 is equal to u. This minus sign is a constant will come outside. So derivative of 1 to u sec t dt. Let me mention that thing. Uh, here u is equal to x raised to 4. So now the upper limit is u and we are differentiating with respect to x. So we should use chain rule. Okay, as we have, we have already used it in previous example. So what can we write minus derivative with respect to u integration 1 to u sec t dt into du by dt. Okay, sorry, du by dx. So du du will get cancelled and we will have d by dx again. So now for this term, we can use first fundamental theorem of calculus because here we have u and we are differentiating with respect to u. So the theorem says you can simply replace t by u. So we'll have minus sec u into du by dx. But what is value of u? Value of u is x raised to 4. Let us substitute it here. So minus sec x raised to 4 into derivative of x raised to 4. Derivative of x raised to 4 is 4x cube. So therefore, it is minus 4x cube sec x raised to 4. So this is a required answer. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.